<laughs> Can't see it. Can I hit you up? Do it again. Ready? Let's do it again. Ready? Hashtag kick a mama berry, take one. Take one, or as it is, take five. Hello, uh, hello, Abby. Uh, talking about Oklahoma. Hello, everybody. Welcome to our cook along a berry number five. Hello, Chloe. Bye. Hello, Mrs. Barry. Hello. Hello, Phoebe. Hello. And would you like to say what we're doing today? Um, frittata muffins. Frittata muffins. And what is a frittata, Mrs. Barry? An omelette? <laughs> yeah, basically, basically <laughs> omelette muffins. Um, if you can hear a little bit of banging today, don't worry, there's someone on our roof just doing some little repair work. It's all good. Uh, hello, everyone. Hello, Elliot Wright. Hello, Alex. Hello, Swift Pigeon. Uh, I like that name, Pigeon. Swift Pigeon. I'm uh, scared of pigeons. You're scared of pigeons, are you? Yes. I don't know. I didn't know that. Uh, so let's have a little look at the ingredients if you are cooking along. Uh, there are some key ingredients, which are eggs. Did, 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 how many have we got there? Six. Six ingredients uh, of eggs. We've got some cheese, and that is just some grated mozzarella, isn't it, Mrs. B? And a bit of cheddar as well. Cheddar. So I used the mozzarella leftover from... Mozzarella and the cheddar. From Monday? Yeah. Yeah, you did pizzas. Oh, uh, yeah. That was, God, that was Monday. We've done a whole We've week a of cook-alongs. Have you enjoyed this little school breakout session? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Uh, hello from Australia. Hello, Sweden. All that stuff. Amazing. Really, really good to have you guys here. What have we got here? Other toppings we've got. So the most key thing you need to make these is eggs uh, and then basically milk. Um, if you want to do anything else to it, any add some herb seasonings, all that stuff. Is that right? Yeah, you can. You can have whatever you want, really. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's right. What you in your fridge? Or your <laughs> right. <laughs> well, what have we got then? What is this? Yeah. Some chopped up peppers. Chopped up peppers. Some other peppers we were going to get you guys to chop off camera. Some tomatoes, yeah. What is this? Basil? Spinach. Spinach? It does look a bit like basil, doesn't it? Spinach! Oh, I, I, Popeye. I knew it was spinach. I knew it was spinach. No, no, no. I'm excited for some spinach. No, I, no, I just um, had it in the back of my head. I was like, mm, what is this? What is this? Uh, hi all, can you, you tell Danny to put the kettle on? There you go. Uh, that's from Sarah. <laughs> put the kettle on, Danny. Put the kettle on. Um, yes. So there is actually an interesting situation right now because this is the muffin tin. Would you like to see? Oh, Jamie is asking how the weather is here. It's sunny, isn't it? It's really nice and sunny out there. Can't really see it. Look, there's a big beam of sun coming through yeah. and Mr Bean is blocking the other uh, bit of sun as well. That, that is how the weather is. It's nice. It's a nice day. It's warm yeah. in the kitchen. It's doing all right. Um, this, we need to check actually. Does this fit amazingly in the oven? Should we have a little look? <gasps> Did you hear the doorbell? Yes. No, you go. You go. I was going to say we are expecting a delivery right now. Hey, he's barking. You're barking. That's what she does every time the doorbell goes because um, an Amazon delivery is due any minute now because there's a cupcake tin. We were going to delay going live a teeny weeny bit. Are you barking, Ames? Are you barking? It's just a delivery. It's just a delivery. Um, and that one should fit into our new little oven thing, our temporary oven. Do you want to give it a try? Do you want to see if that fits? Well, yeah? Let's have a look. Because obviously what we've got to do is bake these muffins into... Yeah, and we're worried that it might actually spill over a teeny weeny bit, mightn't it? So I use actually, no, it's not too bad because it's silicon, but like if we put the mixture in, it could all like fall out, couldn't it? I use it for my cupcakes, and it quite a few were like that. Yes. The, the top was not, it wasn't straight. Look at that. Right, okay, so hopefully, Mrs. B, that. How many on earth did you time that? <laughs> did it work? Is that it? Yeah. Oh, amazing. So, also, not only that, um, oh, I just got a notification on my phone saying that your parcel has been delivered. Amazing. That's all magic. Let's have a look. Um, look. It's a bit fancy. It's, yeah, but it's a tiny Tim. Oh, Wasn't that a cartoon character or something? Tiny Tim. Do you remember that? I think we were a bit too... Yeah, I don't know. But also, a new gadget has arrived. This is the cauliflower prep tool. So don't look at this in uh, a future gadget video. Um, Delivery guy is a subscriber. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. Delivery guy? Looked like some, looked like Shredder on the TV. Did he? What, did he have like some weird face mask? Oh, of course he would have had a mask on. Yeah, yeah but you didn't have to sign for it, did you? No, no, he left it on the doorstep. Yeah, um, and he ran away with like... like... bright green and black face mask. Really? Yeah. All oh, right. Did he have Bebop and Rocksteady with him as well? Huh? 
Yeah. Tiny Tim is from A Christmas Story. There we go. Yeah. Yes. Are we using this then? Yeah, I think so. Let's go check that out. Let's, we need to give, obviously, give it a wash yeah. first. Um, but we just did a little check, and this thing is going to possibly make it all spill out. So, yeah, let's have a little look. It's safe to say it's going to fit. Yeah, it's going to fit. Have we got cupcake cases? We do. Have we got cupcakes? Yeah. We do need them. We yeah, we do. Well, because we're using, we were going to use the silicone one, but now that's arrived, we can use this. Is that all right? I know we've got some here somewhere. But anyhow, let's get the kids making the actual recipe. So if you're cooking along, this is what you'll need to do. Get yourself a bigger bowl. Do, 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 do. And then let's have a little look. Right, first of all, we want to grab the eggs, okay? So you've got six eggs here and 150 mils of milk. So if you want to use slightly less, 100 and, uh, no, like 75 mils of milk with three eggs. If you've got two eggs, about 100 mils, that sort of thing, right? We want all six of those eggs because it's basically just a big omelette in a muffin. Yeah. Yeah. So make sure. Hi Barry, I've been sharing your videos in my community for my uni project. Thank you, Kaylee. That's very kind. Okay, that egg. Thank you, Firestar, for your emoji that you just sent. All right. How many have you got there? Two eggs. This is this is cracking, and there's no shell yet. Excellent. All the egg puns coming out. Oh, thanks, mate. Cooking is nice. It's stuck in my head. <laughs> it, the girls watched it. No, no, no. Please, you don't have to do this. That's fine. That's honestly, that's that's brilliant. It's uh, it's an interesting time watching that video. My mum is in it. She does make a cameo. Yeah. Eggshell. Eggshell. Yeah, yeah. She's using the egg. If you get a little bit of shell in, use the larger bit of the shell like that. Get it out like that. Do a remastered version for its anniversary. Oh my gosh. You guys can all be in it then. That'd be amazing. You're right. <laughs> I haven't been in it yet. Let's see if it is. All right. Four eggs already. Do, 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 do. I love this sort of above the head cam like that. Oh, that's a I'm a qualified chef and love your videos. Thank you. So if you guys sort of uh, joining in at home, don't forget to share your pictures on social media like you have been doing all week. It's been, what have we made this week? We've made pizza, pizza um, frying pan pizza, um, flapjacks, um, crumble, 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 and banoffee pie, yeah. which Banoffee's yesterday, we have still got loads of little supplies. Our banoffee pie is still in there. Um, actually, we had it let it thaw out and it sort of dribbled a little bit, but it is nice and set now. We got a little bit excited. It was very nice. Mrs. Barry, this is this is a hundred percent genuine. Mrs. Barry, I, we cut slices up and she's like, oh my gosh, that's a big bit. Don't, you, you have that Barry. I was like, okay. So I went to put it into a bowl and then Mrs. Barry then said, oh, go get daddy's bowl then. And we were like, oh, nice. And you ate it, right? Oh, it was very, very, it was very rich. So if you didn't make the banoffee pie yesterday, do check that out, watch it in real time, try along at the weekend. It was right, very nice. We were washing our hands. Right, nice. So we've got the eggs. Oh, oh that looks quite pretty. There's a flower. Amazing. Right, so the next step. Have we got any uh, salt and pepper, please, Chloe? Salt and pepper. There, yeah, the pug pots. Brilliant. Oh, the, yeah, the, the mug recipes are stonking, says Elliot. Yeah, I put that video up last night. I filmed that ages ago. Uh, five different mug recipes that you can make. Oh, hang on, I can see a bit of shell. You can see oh, some yeah. shell? Oh, I had oh, some amazing. on my fingers. Oh, oh no. That? <laughs> oh, I see what you It's all good. Right, Chloe, do you want to sprinkle in some salt and pepper? This is optional. When are you going to do a Swedish smorgastar? Did I say that right? Smorgastar. I don't even know what that is. Do you know what a smorgastar is? More salt. I'll have a look into that. I'd like, quite like to do some of that. I do like the international recipes. That's a sweet, I made some Swedish buns before. They were really nice. We like fruit in it. Yeah, I can put some... In. So obviously we're just adding this in. This is optional right now. You can put some... Uh, herbs in there. You could put some paprika. I love paprika. Mm. I love paprika, don't I? So there we go. Where? Where? Where's the shell? Where? I can't see any shell. There is a bit there. Where? Are you sure? That's not a crack in the bowl. All right. This is this is important. All right. Swedish buns. They were so good. So we literally just. I say while they're doing this, I'm going to show you. Um, because I teased it yesterday, I'll just go through this door. I teased it yesterday, the um, the kitchen. So I'm gonna show you something. This is my temporary office. The, the dogs are in here with me, but da -da 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 -da, look at this. 
Uh, I showed you yesterday what the kitchen would potentially look like, and uh, this is it in colour. So what we're looking at the back of the house right now, uh, when I showed you the window yesterday when I stood there, this in colour is what the new kitchen will look like. So we'll still have the appliance garage down there. Our two ovens will be there like that. It's looking pretty darn cool. And this is something called a true handleless kitchen. So you see these sort of... Um, these gold strips down there, like you actually put your hand in and behind it and pull away. So they're just kind of like um, pretty update, update my malware bites. Yes, that came up this morning. I need to do that. Uh, <laughs> thanks for the information. So that'll be the worktop where we sit on and it'll be white and all nice and bright. But that is the plan. Appliance garage there, uh, sink by there. It's, you know, basically a similar layout, but the other way around to our other kitchen. Uh, and then uh, it will just be more slightly to the left rather than to the right. And of course, like before, we couldn't go all the way around the island. So this will literally be, uh, you know, a 360 island at last with loads of natural light uh, and very exciting indeed. So yesterday I just showed you like a black and white picture. Um, my desk to the side of you, I'm not going to show you all my paperwork, but this is... Uh, how it's looking roughly from above, like a real boring kitchen diagram, but hopefully you'll see it's kind of like a midnighty blue, it's more of a navy blue kind of colour there with the gold strips down the side, a nice bright work, work top, and we will definitely have some fun and games in there. Um, it's actually on hold at the moment. Um, yeah, oh, it's actually on hold uh, because of the coronavirus, so as soon as it's ready, uh, we will we will we'll get it going basically. So I wanted to show you that because it's quite exciting to see it. I'm gonna spin back around. Ooh. Hello, hello children. All right, I just showed people the kitchen. Uh, are you going to wash your hair with mayonnaise today, Becky? No, I'm not. You, you're not? Why not? You know, I thought that was a random question to ask me. I don't know. Look, people are liking the blue color in the kitchen. We weren't sure, were we? Blue color in the kitchen. The, the, the color of it, it took us absolutely ages yeah, it took me absolutely ages to like firm that up. And in fact, we're still not sure now. Yeah. It's going to be nice and white around it to make it pop. That was what we were worried about. But the white worktops as well. Yeah, and now we've got even longer to worry about it. We <laughs> have to change our mind. So have you washed your hair with mayonnaise? I actually don't know. No, I have not washed it. Uh, I've got an idea. Um, maybe, um, oh, we should have done this on April Fool's Day. Really? Yeah. Yeah. So every single one that she had, there's sauce in there. Really? And then there's no actual proper condition. Oh, we were. Someone said yeah, that's a good, yes, very cool. When someone said about a smeg blue fridge for the kitchen, we just think that might have been a little bit too, like I don't know, nursery looking. If we had the whole kitchen that colour as well. There was one though in the kitchen showroom that was all that colour. Yeah, and we did. There was like a baby pink colour. Baby pink. Yeah. Um, baby we ain't doing pastel colours. Yeah. I mean, if you had it your own way, you could probably do that for sure, but yeah, I don't know if that's gonna happen. Um, right, so we've got the peppers here. So if you've got kids at home that wanna help out, um, the best thing to do, we did a little bit of this chopping off camera, but get yourself a blunt knife like this. Chloe, you can do that, and then Phoebe can do the ham strips and the tomato. Yeah, you wanna do that? Yeah, this, the ham's cooked, so that's all okay on the same board. If it was, if it was raw, yeah, you want to cook that into kind of like little pizza toppings. Yeah. Shall I whisk the eggs while we're doing, doing that? If you want, mate. It's a whiskey step on your own. You all right with that? Okay. I feel like I'm just tutoring you. This is great. Will I need any more moderators? Yeah, uh, there was an email. Someone actually had four, out four emails last night. People were asking me moderators. Thank you so much. It's just really manic at the moment. I haven't had a chance to reply or actually work out uh, what I need, but Norman's doing an amazing job, so thank you very much. Uh, hello from the UK. Uh, greetings from Scouserland. Ovens that everyone can reach. Okay, I don't get that, but I, hello, David. <laughs> uh, how many years do you do primary school in England? Um, seven. Seven. Greetings from Tipperary, Ireland. These live streams have been a tr real treat. Videos with your family are so wholesome. Thank you, Kevin. I'm glad you've enjoyed them. Um, we don't know whether we should keep doing them next week. We've, we've really enjoyed them. I know a lot of you are asking us to keep doing them. Um, it's, it's really weird. Like, you know, it's getting us through the week. It's giving these guys something exciting to do. Do you want to do it? Yes, I'm 100%. You do, don't you? It's so fun. <laughs> it is, right? Mrs B's off. We were going to have a nice sort of week away, but obviously plans have cha changed with your holiday. Okay. So, it, it, well, it, you didn't know that, but we were going to go... For a few days out anyway around the English. We cut the tomatoes. Yeah. 
So we're just ripping up all your ingredients like so. Tomatoes, peppers. Do we just cut them in half? Oh, you can saw it. Yeah, just saw it. Give it a little, run it along. There you go. All right. So all the ingredients, so we've got spinach there as well. If you want to use uh, meats, again, like before, like with the pizzas the other day, just make sure that they're actually cooked. Don't use raw chicken or anything like that. So at the moment, you should have some eggs that have been whisked together and seasoned. Got some cheese if you want and some milk. That's literally it with your toppings. And I'm going to preheat this fancy oven while you're doing that. Uh, here we go. We're still absolutely loving this oven. I just I can't get over it. It's, it's actually stronger than our other ovens. It, it is. Some people were asking where we got them from. They were on Amazon and it came like next day delivery. It was amazing. Uh, so we're just getting that nice and warm. They should bake for about 20 minutes roughly, okay? And I've probably put that in the worst pace possible with the sunlight, but we'll make that work. Um, how are you from Scotland? They're old enough to use sharp knives when supervised. Oh yeah, you, you kids could probably use sharp knives when you were like born. You were literally living in this world. Yeah, we were literally giving them knives like this, which are probably, we probably had these. We found some dishes last night that we've had since you were born. They, they're older than you that we've still got in this house. Oh my gosh, I have the same oven. So yeah, these are nice blunt sort of table knives, a little serrated edge, but they are not sharp at all. Uh, so really cool. It probably would be safer in a way, yeah. But, um, yeah, so ideally, you keep them away from sharp blades and things, or unless you can help them like Mrs. Beers. But they've got these really nice sort of serrated edges on them, just enough to, you know, get through. See that a little bit? Just enough to get through a little tomato like that. So whilst you're doing that, Phoebs, do you want to add the milk in? Oh, yeah. Do I add it in there? Yeah, pour the milk, milk into the eggs. Boom. Oh, look at that. That is lovely. Where's your actual oven, Barry? <laughs> I would love to show you... I would love to show you our garage right now. Our garage is absolutely rammed full of things from our old kitchen. Our two ovens are still here. We brought them with us. Uh, they are in storage right now. They survived a storm because the house that we bought, the garage is leaky. Wet rain got all in and we managed to get it out luckily and get the garage fixed before um, that. But the ovens are in the garage. And for the time being, when we bought this house, as we said on Monday when we did the stream, we were left this oven uh, it's a gas hob and grill, which we've used earlier in the week on the pizza video, but unfortunately the oven did not work. <laughs> so that's why we have this wonderful thing. Uh, and it's actually really, really good. So that's it. Uh, hello from Derbyshire. Why don't you sit one of your old ovens on top of the bench? We asked our electrician that and he said it wasn't, suggest it wasn't very suitable because they're designed to be sort of screwed into units. So when you open it, it won't fall out everywhere. Uh, hello from Newcastle. Yeah, there we go. Well, that's all done. Got that, so we've got eggs and milk all in there. Nice. So now we can add the cheese in. You wanna add the cheese? Okay. Nice, so this is grated mozzarella and a little bit of cheddar. Nice. Did we clap for the NHS last night? Yes. Yes, we did. I went, I, I went out a bit early because I was like, I stood out actually and I went like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Last week you were in the bath, so you didn't do it in time, but we did it. And uh, yeah, it was really cool to sort of see that. I mean, it's clapping for the NHS, but there's a lot of key workers, I think, you know, that we're all clapping for that are getting involved and helping us through this, this time. And I'm not sure if people around the world are doing it, are they? Yeah. Is it all around the world? Oh, amazing. Yeah, so I mean, even people like, you know, the delivery driver from Amazon that's going around delivering bits, you know, just keeping the world flowing, <laughs> random bits, <laughs> uh, like cupcake tins like this that are so critical, but you no, know, people like that that are just keeping the world going, garages that are staying open in case nurses' cars break down, all that sort of stuff that you kind of take for granted. We're clapping in Germany, nice one. So everyone, like, yeah, care workers, all that sort of stuff, every single one, that's, of course we clapped for uh, everyone. Uh, it's a very strange time, right? Yeah. yeah. So, we've got it in the bowl like this. Well, what the easiest thing to do is to get it back in to the jug. You want to do that, mate? I'm going to pour it in. Uh, I'll go for the bigger one. There you go. Yeah, pour it in. Only just because then it's a lot easier to make it to get it out. All the cheese as well. Oh, that's the oven preheated. Amazing. <laughs> you create like a little wig. Yeah, get the cheese there. And you can also top it as well with that as well at the end. Sorry. Love these vids. Do you still have your pizza oven truck? I don't actually. I had to go back to a restaurant. So I'm going to build a pizza oven in my garden. 
She didn't wash her hair with mayo, no. <laughs> right, so the next thing we need to do, did we get the cupcake cases? Yeah. All right, cool. Because we, we're going to use the silicone one, which is why we don't have them out. If we didn't, we're gonna, if you're using a metal one, you could grease it and they probably will pop out anyway as they cool down. But, um, oh, could we wash this, mate? You wanna wash that? Oh, uh, yes. Thank you, mate. I washed it already. Oh, you did wash it. Oh, wow, I can't keep up. This is amazing. <laughs> Mr. Bean's on the go. Um, hello from Adelaide, Australia. So glad I finally managed to catch a live stream. Hope I don't fall asleep watching though as it's currently 10.53 p.m. Wow. Thank you, Rhiannon. And thank you for your donation as well. That's very kind of you. Um, look at this gadget though. I'm really excited for this. This will be on a future video, a cauliflower prep tool. And apparently, like you can hack into it to get the flora out, and then it just sort of makes a cauliflower easy. So I've no idea. I've absolutely no idea what it does, really. But um, in fact, it might show you on here. Hold that, Chloe. Chloe can. Let's have a look. There you go. So you're supposed to get your thing in there so you can hack away all the florets so they fall off. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, cool. Right, let's have a look at this mixture. It is nice and lined. What you want to do is put your ingredients at the bottom of the cupcake tin, the trays, cases. Yeah, we can top them on top as well, um, but get, it's best to get your fillings in first of all. So the spinach looks all big and bushy, but it's going to wilt down anyway. <laughs> What's that? You can put more than one leaf in. You're just putting one leaf at a time. Rationing, there we go. Um, but you could really go to town on this. You could put like, like I don't know, loads of different herbs mushrooms. in there. Mushrooms. The, pe the internet doesn't bacon like mushrooms, mate. Bacon. Oh, really just chicken. Yeah. Bacon. Where did we get the Mr. Bean cutout from? I think it was Amazon. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Um, actually, do you know what we'll do? We're going to do a Q and A once these go in the oven because they do not take that long. Hello from New Zealand at 1:30 a.m. Uh, what happened to the Michael Jackson cutout? We just got rid of Michael Jackson cutout. There we go. Just because, yeah, we, we kind of lost him actually somehow, but yeah, there we go. We've got, we've got three of the other ones still. We've got the queen. Uh, clean your camera. I think it's not dirty. I think it's just a little bit dark in here with the, with the light going in and out. I did clean it before we started. Uh, my fiance wants a Barry cutout. Right, let me just put the rest of the toppings in. We've got spinach. Mix it up, ham, peppers, tomatoes. Yeah, there we go. Chloe, you're gonna. Hang on. Ham. Ham. Yeah. Put whatever you want in there. So these make a really nice breakfast. Really nice lunch. This is kind of like a lunch for us. Yeah. Cold. Have them for a picnic. That'd be quite nice, wouldn't it? Homer's still here. His head fell off, but we have still got them. Uh, you're getting spoiled having everyone else do the work. Yeah, it's quite nice. I actually realised that like the other day. I think when you've been off, particularly, yeah. I've been able to sort of film a bit more and sort of hold the camera. But on Monday, I was pretty full on getting in, stuck in doing the old grill and it was quite tricky to do everything. So I'm enjoying it. Uh, hello from Kent. Love your cook along. So nice to break up the day at the moment. Love seeing your beautiful family. You've made our family cook a lot more together. Stay safe. Love from Wigan. Thanks, Bex. Uh, and thank you for your pledge as well. That's really kind of you. And Julie Hayes as well. Thank you. Um, yeah. Just getting this all in, that's all right. We don't want to fill it up too much. But these are good, these are so easy. The kids can just do them. Yeah, they can just do it like sort of like safely and it's it's really cool. So like we've said before all week, if you know any kids that are off school that want to watch these videos back at any time over the next coming weeks, uh, just feel free to watch it in real time so you can cook along. And I know there's other people doing it and don't forget to share pictures on social media because that was really cool. Right, Phoebes? You saw it last night, you're like, what? And you said as well, didn't you, with the banoffee pie? You're like, what? They did that? Yeah, really quick. Yeah, that's amazing. Yes. Right, so, egg mixture. Yeah, you yeah. You want to fill it about two thirds of the way up. Two thirds. Ideally, and I would probably sit it on a baking tray just in case. Right, okay. If there's any spillages, you don't want that. Oh, look at that. Tell me when to stop. Nice. Hang on a minute. Won't all the cheese stay at the bottom again? I think you told Michael Jackson to beat it. <laughs> Love it. Right, so that's going in there like that. Oh, well, when there's cheese at the bottom, we can still put that on as well. Phoebe loves cheese. You can spoon it. We actually, to be fair, we were probably supposed to put cheese on the top as well at the end, but we've got some more if we need to. But if we get that in there. Yeah, there you go. So you get, make sure you get your cheese in there as well. Oh, 
Yeah, but you really, if you've got any extra, you can sprinkle some at the top as well, so it'll go all gooey. Egg in the family on, Barry. I love that. I love it. Well, we will do a Q&A in a moment whilst these are baking for about 15 to 20 minutes. A Q&A? That means questions and answer. So we can ask people. Yeah. Look at this. All good. So if there's any, see the, these first couple with the cheese with it at the bottom, you can push it out like that. Or well, if you haven't put it into your mix, that's all right. Oh, that's going to be proper cheesy, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. But they will rise up a little bit. So, yeah. No, that's okay. So that's why we put a baking tray underneath anyway. Love your cooking. Keep it up from Arlen Cork. Thanks, Julie. Right, Did we leave our blinds at the old house? Yes, we did. Forget about the blinds. Yeah, because it's all different new windows and stuff, isn't it? Right, here we go. Let's go. Let's get them in. I've got a, a wire tray over here. Let's do this here. Hello, Amy. So if you've got any questions, bring them up in a minute now and we'll do a little Q&A thing right now. Oh, that's just been in the sun. That, that has been, been in the sun. Look, we've got these two lovely windows letting all this nice lovely sun in. Windows. Yeah. Hi, Barry and family. Loving the videos. Right. Thank how you. Everyone's saying how much they're enjoying it. Thank how you. How long do they need to go in for? About 20 minutes. Do, do, do. About 20. The oven's slightly hotter than it needs Around to be anyway. 192. 192. Um, What's it yeah. need to be at? Now, that's fine. Because it, it, will, it will speed it up a teeny bit then. But it was, okay. was going to be another sort of 10, 15 degrees less. But that's about it. Okay. Yeah. Jesus. Right. First question from Cody <laughs> Grubber. Chloe, you can do this. What time is it here? What time did we start the live stream? Five past, Five past one? one? Yeah. And the time is now. Mm. What time is it? Um, 1.31. Oh, someone said, can you go over what happened with the old house? Nothing happened to it. <laughs> no. Uh, it's, we just moved. We just moved. So we explained that on a previous stream. So, yeah. Uh, hey from the UK, what's your favourite dish to make? We answered that the other day, but would that change, Phoebe? Now I'm asking you today. Mm, I, I kind of really like doing this, actually. What, you like doing frittata? Yeah. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yes. I actually don't think I've ever tried one before. Really? Mm. I've had an omelet and then I like cheesy omelets. You like cheesy omelets. Um, will we be doing any more videos with Ashens? I love those crossovers. Yes, there's one that I've edited now that I've just sent off. It's called Will It Slush Puppy. Oh. Yes. Oh, I remember you telling me about this. Yeah. Yes. Uh, it, it, yeah, it sort of did. It sort of worked. Um, would, and, would you and Mrs. Barry like to have any children, any more children? <laughs> yeah, we bought these on the internet. We got Boston. We got Amy. There's a little confession, actually. I did ask Mrs. Barry um, quite recently. I was like, oh, come on, we've moved house now. We've got a bit of space. We've got a slightly bigger garden than we had. And it's like, oh. Could we, could we get another dog? No. I really wanted to get a, like a, a big Labrador to sort of like look after Boston Amy and sort of you know, look no. after them. We do it every day like we do with these two, don't worry. But no, when you try and walk two dogs, dogs, sometimes in the nicest way, you're letting them, you're waiting for them to go to the toilet and you waiting for the second one is bad enough. So with three, it might take all day. So, so would you go and help Daddy even... When it's been pouring down with rain, would you go yeah. and help walk through dogs? Because you don't have walk two dogs in the pouring down rain, let alone three. Are we literally like discussing this on camera? Is the internet going to decide if we have a dog? Another yeah. one. Yeah. Having another dog. Uh, yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes, yes. Two is fine. Two, two, two is, is fine. It took a while, but um, I'm, I'm yeah, in agreement with Mrs. Got Barry got on that. Greetings from Finland. Just wanted to thank you for cheering us all up. I can't visit my parents because they're in the risk group, but oh. they're ordering food online. And we have fun video calls. I think that's it. Like, how are you guys sort of communicating with your family? Is it video calls? Um, we, that's what we've been doing, like phone calls and stuff like that. Yes. There's an app, is it called Zoom? And there's like a house yeah. party one, which got in a bit of trouble, but I think that's all so okay now. So these two have both got in trouble this have they? week. Yeah. Oh, really? Did you not see oh. the Zoom was in the news? I've been so busy doing all the recipes and stuff for this like stuff. It's, it's like uh, the live stream has taken quite a lot of work and effort to do it, but willing to uh, keep going them next week. But they're pretty bad, are they? Um, I don't know. There was something in the news about security. Oh, really? I thought that was all a wind-up or something from what I heard, but um, are they, 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 someone was out to get them because they didn't, yeah. I thought that was a house party. Oh, was it? I don't know. I'm what do you confused. think? I don't 
I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Would you like a baby brother or sister? No. How has this gone from a dog? To I a... I'm just trying to remember what the original question was before. I love a baby brother. Would you? I love a baby brother. I just want to be old. <laughs> you I want to be the older sister? Want to be an older sister. What's the older sister like? What's it like being an older sister? Tough to keep up with her. Is it? She got so much energy. <laughs> then we have two very different children. We have, I would say, Mrs. Barry in child form. And we have me in child form. Would you say that? Yeah. Actually, Phoebe sometimes is a blend. She's a sensible one. Um, you're the more crazy one. But of course, that can change. Yeah. It can, can't can, it? can, as they get older. Uh, a bit crazy. If you had a younger brother, what would you want him to be called? Bob. Um, Bob. <laughs> okay. Bob. Simple. Easy to spell. Um, Harrison? Harrison. Okay. We know Harrison. Yeah, it's a good name. Good, strong name. Um, Jason. 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 <laughs> what was Phoebe going to be called if she was a, a boy? Can you remember? Toby. 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 That's right, yeah. I was going to be called nothing. You, no, we weren't going to christen you nothing. <laughs> we'll call you nothing. Imagine that on your passport. Nothing. 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 Um, what about you, Mrs B? Do you want another boy or girl? No, thank no, you. No, you're quite happy with two pugs as quite well? Quite happy with the... Well, yes. Quite happy with that. You. Right. Uh, I'm still having to work no. essential services. Uh, why not cook Ashen's a rice pounder meal? I would if if he lived around the corner for me. I would literally be dropping meals at his house. Uh, a rice pounder meal. What's that? Do your kids ever cook Pound dinner? Land. A Poundland, yeah. Pound. Poundland. Do your kids ever cook you dinner? Not yet. Yeah, when, um, we make like um, we just cook like I made chocolate. Yeah. So you make cupcakes. Yeah. We just like bake. Mm. You did make your breakfast on Mother's Day. Yeah, that sounds amazing. That was the one. <laughs> <laughs> but I sometimes if I'm warm before dinner, I come in and I'm like, I'll mix that for you. Yes. Yeah, we did um, mac and cheese the other day. Yeah, you mac and cheese? Money. We both helped money. Because I mixed yeah. the cheese. You yeah. did yeah. help mix the cheese. <laughs> You do. Yeah, that's that's the most that. important thing. That really is the most important thing. Licking the spoon. Um, let's just have a quick teeny little check on this. It's been about six minutes, I think. And, ooh. How did I do what? I'm not a magician. There's a light. What is there? There's a light button. I did that yesterday and I wondered how you did it. Yes. <laughs> did your old house explode? Yes, it did. Oh, yeah. <laughs> can, you see it now? Like, can you see it? Can you press the light again? You might be able to yeah, see they're cool. starting to firm already, but you want to kind of get some nice colour on there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Nice. So, what would you call a boy if you had to? Would it, be, would it still be Toby? Would you consider doing any dairy free and gluten free recipes? Yes, I really do want to do that. Sebastian? I wonder what Amy would have called all. She's had three sets of pups, and the only one we've ever met is this one. Isn't it, boy? Hmm? You okay? Sit. 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 Good boy. No, you ain't gonna lie down. But look at him. He's always like hunting for like any crumbs. That's the thing with pugs. That they're never ever sort of full up. And we they walk are. them quite a bit. They never well, they, they never know when they are, yeah. Um, they would just eat and eat and eat as we found out before with What are all your favorite ice cream flavors? Uh, my favorite is just um, plain vanilla or clotted cream. Clotted cream ice cream is nice. I'll agree with you. Honeycomb? Yeah, I love how you started with vanilla and then clotted cream and then honeycomb and you just get it more and more. I've got one straight away, yeah. straight away, mint chocolate chip. Mint chocolate chip? Yeah. yeah. Oh. See, when it's juice around mine, like mint chocolate chip, honeycomb. Do you like cookies and cream? Oh, cookies and cream? Yes, I love that one. Thank you, Phoebe. I like um, the Ken and Jenny's fish food. Yeah. That's nice. All right. So Boston is one of Amy's babies. I did not know that. Yes. Yeah. That was from her first litter, wasn't it, Amy? You've been a busy girl. <laughs> you've, had a, you've had a hard life. Yeah. Uh, and then um, she had two more sets of pups, I believe. And then um, she was available and we, we got Amy and reunited her. I don't know if she actually ever... They, someone said to me, I don't know if it's true, but three years, a dog has kind of like a remembrance of like other yeah, dogs or that, things. Like so that she might... Have been like, oh my gosh, it's my son. I don't, I don't know. So. Uh, no. They didn't take to each other straight away. There was no, Boston wasn't jealous or anything like that. No. He was quite accepting to her. Yeah, they sort of cuddle up and they like, like, do like a yin yang yeah. sign. Yeah. In a, yeah, they sort of like, if you got them two separate beds, they would literally just yeah. cozy up together. Amy will, will always try and find Boston, wouldn't she? She won't settle until she knows where he is. 
Yes. Do you remember the other night? Yeah. <laughs> Amy just would not settle. She was just wandering up and down. She kept coming into the bedroom. And you got up. And it's because Boston wasn't in his bed. And yeah. Was, we'd moved the bed. Into yeah. We put it into a different place. And she... Boston had gone back to where the bed was before. Well, and was cuddled up against something. Yeah. Something so gone. she wouldn't settle. So she wouldn't go in her bed until she knew where Boston was. And I think because he was led against something black. Yeah. She couldn't see him. Yeah. So then you put the bed back there and then she was fine. Yeah, they, they literally do. When they lie in a bed together, someone yeah. just said yin yang. Yeah, if you Google, the, obviously, the black and white sign, yeah. it li there is a photo I've got. I might have to put that up soon. They just cosy up next yeah. to each other. Yeah. Isn't it called a grumble when there's a pack of pugs? Is that right? I'm sure that. Um, did you yeah. tell me that? Yeah. I when they were cosy together. Can I give Mrs. Barry a haircut? Oh my gosh. Yes. <gasps> that would be amazing. We could live stream that. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, your nanny cuts your hair, doesn't she? Yeah, she put it really there. Yeah. And then, um... Boy, you don't trust me to cut your hair while we're homeschooling? No. no? Yeah. Okay. No, no, Let's get the trimmers. He does that. He does that. You might have to cut my hair soon. No. You yeah, never know. No? Um... Don't worry, your hair's not as bad as some of the old videos that we watch. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Yeah, you've been watching... Yeah, like, all this talking of my old videos, yeah, you've been watching them. And it's just like... <laughs> Yes, Jane, when we made a giant Olaf of James. Oh, uh, yeah, the hair was... But you never told me. You never told I me. I, I didn't have a man bun. I didn't go that bad. But, I mean, it was pretty... I look like Boris Johnson, actually. Mm -hmm. Or a rock star, or a surfer. <laughs> <laughs> People used to say I look like a surfer. You did. Oh, my gosh, you did. That wasn't the aim. I don't know why I did it. I once had blue hair. Did you yeah. tell me about that? Yeah. You can never uh, have a uh, well, I had electric blue hair and they dyed it white and white and they kept adding the blue and it went really like dark, dark blue. And then I like woke up the next day with blue all over my pillow. There we go. Oh, yeah, that was it. You can never tell Phoebe she's not allowed to dye her hair blue. I want to see it ends blue. Someone's asking, how is the homeschooling going? It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. They, I think this is genuinely their favourite part of the day. Oh, yeah, she's been doing a fact book all week on J.K. Rowling uh, for Harry Potter. Yeah. Phoebe, you've been doing loads of crazy stuff online, haven't you? Yeah, one minute I'm doing it, and the next I'm doing something completely different. Yeah, it's all, it's all very clever because yours is all online. Yeah. Um, Barry with a bowl cut. I did actually have a, a bowl cut. Um, there was a clip that I saw on TV the other day where everyone had undercuts. You know, they put a bowl on and like, cut around and then like they'd oh lift up the sides God. there and Mr. shave it. Mr Bean, yeah, Mrs we Barry, watched. and we watched Mr Bean, didn't we? Yeah, we did. And all the boys, yeah. it was around about the age when I would have been that age, they all had, if you go on Netflix and watch episodes of Mr Bean, um, it's very, very funny because the haircuts, the undercuts, the bowl cuts, that was what I and many other boys around that age were literally wearing, and it was horrendous. Even if it didn't suit you, you kind of all did it. Yeah, the I did the centre parting. I did that. Parting. I, parting. 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 Uh, I did that. I did the side parting. And now any parting will do, you know? Uh, are you filming any behind-the-scenes videos again? Well, yeah, you should really do that. Well, okay. this is kind of a behind-the-scenes. Yeah. Um, we did work. consider doing some vlogging of what we, uh, when we moved here, but to be honest, it's just been an absolute bonkers that since we've moved in here. It's been so crazy, uh, and we just can't wait to show you. We will do some before and afters pictures. There's a big tw uh, stream on my Twitter feed of like the before and after photos of the building, but there we go. You can just see there, like we showed you the other day, the kitchen I showed you earlier on, that's what it will look like. In the future, would you like a cooking show, for example, on 24 Kitchen? Greetings from Holland. Um, I don't know. Um, there's been discussions in the past and more recently about something possibly, but I feel like my home's on YouTube because I would, I've always, I've done some TV cooking slots and things and it's really weird because in the nicest possible way, I actually enjoy doing the online stuff a lot more. I find it a lot more genuine. Um, and I'm not a chef really and I, I, just, I just like keeping it real. What's just, what's happened? You just farted. Did you just trump? You just trumped. Good job there's not smell of vision. Um, but as for a show, if it's something I could do separate to this and there's enough time it fits in, maybe. And as long as perhaps the audience could see it, you know, with these guys as well involved, some of my friends as well. 
I would like to do something like that, maybe, but only if I could still keep doing YouTube because that's what it's all about. Um, the kitchen looks a great design from the Twitter. Thank you very much. Um, can I read? Does that really smell that bad? I, I, can, I got a little bit of a waft. I can. It's not as bad as you, Mrs. B, is it, last night? Can I? Shall we talk about that? Let's show Chloe your book. Shall we talk about that, Mrs. B? <laughs> I said, what's the matter? She's like, oh, I'm just really tired. I was like, why? She's like, I've got a real... I'm not going to say that word. <laughs> I just add too many bananas, and that is married life, ladies and gentlemen. When you go to bed, you're like, are you okay? <laughs> yes, darling, nothing like that, like on the TV. No, no, I've had too many bananas, and going to bed. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, <laughs> Let's have a look at your book. Okay, this is called Red. J.K. Rowling. Have you gone red? Oh, sorry. Just had too many bananas. Look at it. I'm just wafting it up. Unbelievable. Trust me, I do a, I do a lot worse. It's, fine. it's just married life. It's just... <laughs> it's not like in the movies. Um, I am in trouble now. But then she would she would be honest and tell you exactly the same as well, what, what I'm like. All right? <laughs> yeah, let's read your book. We do like to keep it real here. Okay. Um, JK Rowling. So all week, Chloe's been doing her homework was to write a little fat file on anything you want. And you picked JK, JK Rowling. Rowling. Yeah. And what's, Ka um, what's her real middle name? Um, Kathleen. Kathleen. I did not know that. And did you know she also wrote some books as... Harry Potter. Yeah. And Fantastic Beasts. But also she pretended That's that she true. was someone else, didn't she? Um, who was it? <laughs> Just check my book. She yeah. pretended she was a bloke. I didn't know that. She released some books. J.K. Rowling, some cri she crime she books. She was um, Robert Galbraith. Robert Galbraith. Yes, there's an author called Robert Galbraith who isn't Robert Galbraith. It's actually Mrs. B. J.K. Rowling. J.K. Rowling. How cool is that? I don't know why she did it. They think that with it being a male name that she might sell more books. I did some pictures in it. Yeah. And so J.K. Rowling is a British author, film producer, yeah. television producer and screenwriter. You might wonder what her real name is. Luckily, I know what it is. And it is Joanne Kathleen Rowling. Joanne's date of birth is the first thing <laughs> 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 I mean, this might be, this, well, I should rename this title of this live stream the actual uh, J.K. Rowling feed. She mostly is known for writing the books of Harry Potter and Prince. Look, and you did this little picture of the clapperboard, didn't you? Yeah. This is Harry Potter to replicate Thank you, Phoebe. Miss. Thank you. YouTube. And this is what we started the video with today. Are you leaving your washer and dryer in your new kitchen or are you putting them in a utility room again? Ooh. A utility room. Utility room. Yeah, some kitchens um, in the UK is quite common to have. In fact, our first house had a washing machine in there all the time. We would be doing cooking videos and they would literally be our pants and our T-shirts and socks on show in the background. Do you remember those days? Yeah. I think that might be ready. It might be ready? get in there but basically uh to sort of show you uh there's going to be a, a door here and you can see the two bits of wood there there's going to be a partition wall about there and there'll be a door going in this way and this will be a utility room yes 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 okay. um, kathleen is the name of J uh, jk rowland's grandmother as well apparently yes. Wow. Joe, Rowling Joe, facts. Die, Joe's younger sister, <laughs> in Edinburgh. Yeah. So J.K. Rowling and her daughter moved there. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. She has a son called David. She had a son called David. Amazing. More J.K. Rowling facts coming up soon. Hello, Amy. I just see you sitting there just listening, going, what's this going on? Um, how are these looking? Let's have a look. Well, they've, gone, they're quite they, big. they've gone big. They will go big. That's what you're supposed to... Oh, yes. You see that? And we just want, you can, if you can see slightly in there, there's a little bit of bubbling going on. That's, you obviously want to cook all that through. Uh, rowling is pronounced rolling, like a ro oh, rolling, like a rolling pin. Rally, rally, rally. Let's have a little look. Rally, rally. Oh. Should I turn Ooh. them out? No, I think that's, oh, see how it's starting to brown on that edge there? Yeah. We are getting there. We are yeah. getting there, my friends. So we've had 20 bit, minutes. A bit more. Yeah, let's push it up by another five minutes. Five minutes. 
Stop staring at you. Yeah, he's a cardboard cutout. That's what he does. Would you like a cardboard cutout of yourself? Maybe that's the next batch I can get. No? Really? Oh, right. We mentioned an appliance garage. What is that? It's the uh, roller shutter thing that we had. The garage. Garage. Garage, yeah. You have got Lego a bit like that, mate. Yeah, thank you, sir. Yes. Yes. Um, so this is pretty much it. Yeah, if you, if you didn't, um, if you had a silicon tray like this, you could have basically just stuck that in the oven. No need to grease it at all, because then you can just pop them out like that. That's the benefit of the old silicon stuff. Uh, but with a metal tray like that, do line it with your cupcake cases. Or just grease, yeah. Or just grease it, yeah. And you'll find that once it goes all warm like that, and if you let it cool down fully, you could basically just pop it out and it'll just fall out. Good night, Barry and family. It's almost 6 a.m. And I can't stay awake. 6 a.m.? Six. You've been awake all night. 6 a.m. Well, they probably woke up really early. Hi, Barry. Would you consider doing any some recipes for cheap, healthy food? Yeah, I'd love to, actually. I mean, this is actually pretty cheap. This is Because you can make this with any things you've got lying around the house, like the eggs, uh, the milk, which you should have. In fact, we've just used the milk. Oh, can I go? I want to experience the shops. I've not done it. Mrs. B's doing all of it. Yeah? You did it, did you? If you did your shopping list, what would be on it? <laughs> pepperoni, pepperoni, pepperoni. It's getting close to 2 a.m. here. Hello from India. Hello. Yeah. I love how there's someone like in India watching, and there could be someone literally two doors down watching as well. What has happened to the cartoon uh, opening of your videos it used to have? I just got rid of it because it said My Virgin Kids on it. So, uh, yeah. Uh, maybe we could put that back on there. Boston's Dream, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a. You were. Well, you started to, didn't you? Any good carbonara recipes? Oh, we've done a few on the channel. If you have a little Google, carbonara is like a pasta. Dish. Creamy pasta, pancetta or bacon in there. It's lush. Is it pasta? Yeah. It's almost midnight here in Sydney. Hi, Barry. Could you do a homemade Greg's? Yes. Greg's. They did that vegan sausage roll. Did you try that? Oh yeah, I did we do that? One? I don't know if we'd filmed that though. No. We had, what did you Oh, the chicken and mango. Chicken and mango sandwiches. Rolls. Yeah, I don't know if they do them anymore. Have we got anything planned for one million subscribers? No, actually, yeah, quite close to that now. Um, I don't know. Maybe some like epic live stream where I watch back on one huge highlight video of like every single one of my videos back to back. A party. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Barry reacts for you. Invite the sorted guys over for dinner. Well, they're in London. I don't know. They're probably all in their own houses, aren't they? Um, you met them as well once for me, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. That was ages ago. We went to an awards thing or something like that. But yeah. Uh, actually, I've reached out to them about doing a collab. So. Who knows, one day hopefully we'll get that going, but I did do a video with them a, a long time ago. Barry, the Burr family from Lincoln would like you and the kids to write a recipe book for kids. Ah, yeah. would you like to do that? So You'd have to have like cartoon pictures, wouldn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That would be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I can, they smell quite good, Mrs. B. Good. Yeah? Just a bit. It's one of, oh no, they're starting to brown. There. We can get a toothpick just to make sure, but when they're brown like that on the top, they're nearly there. It's a little bit of the cheese bubbling as well. We don't want to get confused by that. So maybe we turn it round. Yeah. Can I get cutouts of Ashen's Mensky and Eli? That would be amazing. Just fill the kitchen with it. That would be cool. Uh, <laughs> Greg's have put a recipe on their Facebook to ma make your own sausage cheese and bean melt. Oh, they're amazing. But when you bite into them, the baked beans go on your face. Oh, red, know. red hot. Um, you might be wondering where the ham's gone. Where has the ham gone? Did you eat it? Oh my gosh. Like You've got a poor dog down there that wants a bit of ham, yeah. right? And you're eating the ham. Oh, oh the ham, I thought she said where the hammer has gone. Oh, it's the hammer. She was hiding a big heavy hammer in the top. No. No? She's got the sequin top on again as well. Yeah, she has. <laughs> so hopefully if you're cooking along in real time with us, 
You will actually have yours in the oven right now and be at a similar stage to us. And um, they are probably best. Are you just nibbling on the, on the sides now? You can do that. That's fine, mate. <laughs> um, what other toppings could you put in there? I, do you know what? I'd love to put bacon and mushroom in there. Yeah. Um, actually, some more cheese in there, some different cheeses. Because you can add some more strength with that parmesan. You could do like a pizza one, couldn't you? What would you put in yours? Pepperoni. At one million, you promised us a party. I did. Actually, let's do that. If I make a million, if I get to a million subscribers, we will hire out a hall and I will do a raffle for tickets to come along. There we go. Oh. Oh. Yes. Or the raffle will be a ticket to come and then we'll have like, a massive giant food party. That would be amazing, actually. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. Let's check. We're not going to be able to eat them straight away, so we can just take them out. Because they need to cool down. Oh, oh my gosh, look at that. It's like a souffle. Amazing. But what you want to do is get yourself a little skewer. We can get that, uh, okay. make sure. If you push it down to see that they're cooked through, because obviously a bit like a cake, that's what these are at. Let's get it going again. There you go. We'll get it going. Oh, did you turn the temperature down? No. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, by two degrees. Oh, no, it was, one, it was on 185. But, yeah. Unless it's doing its own thing, it's like, I know how to cook. I'm doing this myself. Uh, look at that, I love that. I just love sort of panning around in, in the oven like that. Yeah, let's have a look. They look lovely. Um, the sm can you describe the smell, guys? Um, oh, my gosh. Oh, crazy. Yep. Oh, I'm losing They're losing the skewer. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's all good. Mm -hmm. That is all good. So do check them, folks, just to make sure. Yeah, if they come out clean, <gasps> oh, they should yeah. be done. You just set the egg. And don't be afraid that some of the gooiness could be your cheese. So, uh, yeah, let's get them out. What's all your favourite dishes? I don't know. Like we, there's, we said the other day, they change every single day. Like, I still like lasagna. You still like lasagna? Mmm, moussaka for me today. If I could have anything, moussaka. Really? That's different. You change every day, don't you? I love bacon. Yes. And pepper. I love food. That's why I love Look at those. They look amazing. Actually, I might just... We need to do a little photo because um, the other day I did that and we yeah. sort of stood and did a pose and a lot of you screenshot it and did it as your postcard for this video. So, girls, come with Daddy. Let's all get together and do our little... It's almost like a montage. What, with these? Yeah, ready? Chloe, yeah. come on in. <laughs> if you screenshot that, share it on social media. If you are not cooking along but you've joined in, that'll be really funny. I'd like to see that. But for those of you that have been cooking along, hopefully in the time that we've been just nattering away. Oh, yeah, we, we learned the hard way about getting these things. Which one has and hasn't got tomato? Um, I, think, I don't know. It feels like you just overloaded it I and think put it all in there. I think that one was your one that you said. But if yeah. you try and touch them now, they, they will feel quite squidgy. Should we just let them set? So if you, as they cool down, they'll firm up. That's quite hot, Chloe. Yeah, you don't want to do that, mate. <laughs> That's one way to learn. You'll never do that again. <laughs> so this is red hot out of the oven. Um, how hot was that? Red hot out of the oven. Use, use your ears. But these will actually cool down quite quickly. And once they do, they will firm up and they will be amazing for a picnic, for a breakfast, for a lunch. And we're kind of having it for our lunch, aren't we? I think, I think we're done. I think we're absolutely done. I wanna, is there anything you'd like to say about this whole week of live streaming? Have you enjoyed it? I've enjoyed it a lot. You have? Because whenever we, because Phoebe's quite caught out on the camera, and then when we stop it, she's kind of like, I loved it, it was so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> she goes like, ah! And then Chloe's just kind of crazy on camera, and then she's like, oh, I really missed it. Oh my gosh. Uh, Mrs. Barry, you've kind of enjoyed doing half the week with me. Yeah, it's been fun. Have something to, some structure to the day. Yes, no, they've looked forward time. to it. Don't touch. Yeah, You're going to burn yourself. I'm touching the bit that's not Yeah, do. I mean, they might be nice like still slightly warmed but yeah. that's it um if you would like to see uh, some more of these next week do let us know um because i'm gonna have to spend uh, a good day preparing the rest of the recipes for next week which is no problem at all um and obviously i need to make sure these people do definitely want to do it right family 
Yes. I think they do. Um, so if you have enjoyed it, maybe we might do it on Facebook or Instagram or a different platform like that. We might mix it up. Um, or we might just do videos in real time that we can just upload. So we'll have a little chat, see what we want to do. But it is generally for us something to look forward to in these really uncertain, crazy times. So thank you for joining us. Hashtag cook along a Barry if you have done any of the recipes this week and share them on social media. Cook along a Barry. Um, and obviously if you know anyone that would like to cook along with us, share them all these other videos and maybe we'll be back next week. We're not sure, we just don't know. I mean, you all want me to. And I'm like, okay, I just need to prepare. Are you ready for this? We don't know really what we're gonna do if we do it. <laughs> what, you don't know? Well, you might actually get homeschooled, Chloe. You might have to do some more schoolwork. Oh, you mean the recipes? Yeah. Yes. So, uh, yeah, massive, massive thank you. Uh, for those of you that have shared it with your communities and school groups and things like that, it's been absolutely awesome. Um, that's it. I'm going to say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. bye. All right, thank you. Ciao for now. Bye. Bye, 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 bye. bye.